Hey guys, what's up? It's Lily. So today I'm going to be filming a story time. I don't know what to call this. Honestly, I don't. I think I'm going to call it almost kidnapped, not for clickbait, but because I just don't know what to call this. So yeah, anyways, if you enjoyed this video, make sure to give this video a thumbs up. And if you're new and you have not seen my face before, you totally should subscribe down below for more. And if you want to see more into my daily life, check out my social medias. They're always linked below along with my vlog channel, which I recently restarted. I'm going to be vlogging next week. So get excited. Stay tuned for that. Subscribe over to that channel as well. And make sure to turn on my post notifications over there. Also, go check out my previous video after this one. One more thing. So I really want to film a Q&A. If you guys have any questions for me, then let me know them in the comments. But with all of that being said, let's just get right into my story time. Okay. Third time refilming this whole story time because I keep missing parts. Okay, so this happened in February of 2017, so this year. And it was the day of my birthday party. My birthday's on February 16th, and that week I had school, so I was just like, let's wait till next week when all of my friends and I are on break. So I have my party, and it's a sleepover. So Tweevy, Mia, Analia, Katie, and Devonisha, who I invited, all come. And after cake, so a little after 8, my friend Tweety tells me she needs to go home. And we already knew she couldn't sleep over. So my dad drops her off. We all go with her. And then when we get back to my house, my dad lets us out of the car. And he drives away because he has to go do some things. So it's just me, Analia, Devonisha, Katie, and I. So the five of us, we are all still riled up from the car ride there and back we were all laughing being weird listening to music going crazy so when my dad leaves we are all staying outside of my house in pitch black dancing to rolex because that song was popular back then and we are all just being crazy and then someone brings up ding dong ditching if you guys don't know what ding dong ditching is it's basically where you ring on people's doorbells and then you just run None of us wanted to ring the doorbells, so Devonisha and Katie just step up and are like, okay, we'll do it. So Devonisha does the first couple houses, but I saw a car that I kept seeing coming around the neighborhood. And I tell my friends, and they're just like, Lily, you're paranoid, and yeah, I am actually paranoid, but I was freaking out, so they're just like, Lily, chill, and then I finally get calm, I'm chill, you know, so... We continue playing and then Devonisha falls in the middle of the road so she starts bleeding her jeans are ripped she's freaking out because she loved those jeans um so we go back into the house and we patch her up and then we're debating if we should continue playing or just end it right there and then so we continue playing katie does the rest of the houses so the last house that we end up doing is across the street from my house there's not a lot but there's not a little of stairs to get up to that house so Katie ends up doing it. We're just like, should she, should she not? She ends up doing it. And then I run over and I'm like, Katie, I'm just going to wait at the bottom of the stairs for you. So then Devonisha follows over. And then when Katie's done ringing the doorbell and she's already down the steps, the car that I kept seeing stops in front of my eyes uh the headlights are really bright and then i just look over and i'm like oh my god that's that's the car okay so we all start freaking out and then i start screaming run so we all run mia and analia are already on the side of my house so they're basically in front of the house they run up to the front door and then right when we saw the car katie just started sprinting over so she runs over and then I go, and then Devonisha follows. So when Katie, Devonisha, and I get to the front door, we're just like, open it, open it. But it's not opening. So we all start slamming the door like this with our fists, and I'm ringing the doorbell. So finally, my brother opens it, and then we're just like, close it, lock it, you know? So he locks it, and then he starts screaming at us. And he's younger than I am, but he starts screaming at us. After he locked it, and we're inside the house, we run up the stairs to my room and we're just like, oh my god, oh my god, should we tell my parents? So we end up not telling them when we run to the green bathroom. So the green bathroom is basically on the floor of where my room is. So we run into there since it's right above the door from downstairs. And we look through the drapes because we have windows right in the front. So we look through the drapes and the car has pulled into my driveway. The guy's getting out. We start freaking out. Then the door ends up ringing. And I'm yelling down to my brother, like, don't open the door. Like, don't go near the windows. 
um, and I don't really explain why, but I just tell him that, right? So, so when the ringing stops, we're just like, oh my god, we have one second of relief, and then we see the guy walking that, and he looks right up at where we are. The lights weren't even on, and he just looks up and is like, open the door and stuff like that, and we're freaking out like just so scared a couple seconds later we hear the doorbell ringing again then we turn on the lights um i think it's just because we wanted light in the room so we could see each other and stuff so we end up turning on the lights and then a couple minutes later the ringing stops and then the guy's walking back to his car and we're like oh my god thank you it's like over so we basically have another couple seconds of relief and then my dad pulls up and he gets out and I'm just like, yes, my dad's home. He can save us. Even though he has no clue that we're doing this. My mom didn't either. But my dad gets out of the car, right? And I thought he would walk into our house. But instead, my house is here. He parks in the front. He gets out of his car. He starts walking around my house instead of to the doorway. I'm just so confused. I'm like, sad. Like, what are you doing? Then a couple minutes later, he doesn't show up. I'm like, dad, like, I'm freaking out. I... I just thought that the murderer got to him or something. So I go into my mom's room finally to tell her really quickly about what happened. I didn't tell her that we did ding dong ditching or anything because we didn't think this guy that kind of looked like a mass murderer, no offense, like I'm, it's, mm -hmm. like we weren't judging him or anything. We just thought he was a murderer because like of what he was doing, like his actions were basically leading us to think that he was a mass murderer. But anyways. I go into my mom's room and tell her that we were outside and then this car stopped and all this stuff and she's like okay so she gets out of her chair and starts going downstairs and she goes outside and I run back into the bathroom where my friends are. Probably thought turning on the lights to the bathroom was a stupid idea. I remember why. So Mia and Analia start crying and I start crying too. Devin and Shakira just like guys stop crying they're saying there's nothing to be afraid of we're inside the guys outside you know so finally my mom's back inside she walks up the stairs and i meet her at the stairway and i'm like mom like did you see what was going on like did you find the guy or whatever and she's like lily were you ringing doorbells or whatever so i was like yes and my dad's kind of behind her he's coming into the house while she's already at the top of the stairs talking to me so I know that he's fine and I know that nothing happened to my mom but then I'm just like who is this guy so she's like it was just one of our neighbors he saw you guys running away from his house or whatever and he and his wife are taking care of one of their sick children and I was just like oh, okay and I felt so relieved like I was like I'm not dying today you know I just was kind of happy even though I got in trouble, I was just happy that nothing bad happened um, and stuff like that. So then she's like, Lily, I got a phone call from one of our other neighbors who said they saw you guys running away from their house and they heard their doorbell ring and no one was there. So basically I got in trouble for uh, doing that and... I had to promise to my parents that I would never ding dong dish again. So, yeah. Mom, Dad, I know you're watching this probably. Don't worry. I'm not going to break your promise. So that was it for this week's story time. I really hope you guys liked it. If you did, like I always say, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. It would really mean a lot to me and it would help out my channel a lot. So, please make sure to give it a like if you liked it. And if you're new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe down below and turn on those post notifications so you're notified whenever I upload a new video, as well as subscribing to my vlog channel. Like I said, I'll be vlogging very soon. You're not going to want to miss out. So make sure to subscribe over to that channel and turn on those post notifications as well. If you want to stay up to date with my daily life, check out my social medias. They will be linked down below. So I think that's all for today's video. I love you all so much and I will see you guys next time. Bye guys. Bye.